In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your Wii U games that are in WUX or WUD format into WUP installables, also known as .app files, so that you can install them to your Wii U with WUP Installer GX2. We're going to be using a program called NKit, and you can only get this through a Discord group, so I will have an invite link down below and it will be for the NKit Discord server. You'll start off in the welcome channel, but on the left here, go into the releases channel. We don't want these ones. We're gonna scroll up to where there's three different ones and it just says UI. And I'll be doing this on Windows, but just download the one that you need for your system. So we'll download this here, continue, and it will automatically download. And there we go, it is downloaded. I will exit here, can minimize this for now. And it will be a 7-zip file, so you will need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-zip to extract this, but we're gonna open it up, create a new folder anywhere on your computer. I'm gonna do it on my desktop and call it NKit, and we're gonna highlight everything in the zip file and drag it inside. And once it's in, we can delete the zip file. We can open up our folder here, and this is what it should look like. This will be the app exe file. But the first thing that we are going to do is right click, and we're gonna make a couple folders. The first one being in, and the second one being out. So now at this point, just grab your WUX file or your WUD file, whichever one it is. As you can see, I got my Call of Duty Black Ops 2 WUX file right here. I'm gonna put it in the in folder that I just created. So along with the NKit program and your WUX or WUD file, there are a couple more things that you need and they are in my downloads right now. You will need Wii U disk keys and your dat file for Wii U. I have these two folders here. For our dat file, we're gonna go into dats Wii U, and then just drag the actual zip file inside of there. These files may bring up a copyright issue, so I can't show you where to get them. Check the pin comment. But we got our dat file in there, and we can back out all the way back to our base folder. And we are going to open up the keys folder, Wii U, and we're gonna place our disk keys in here, just as the zip file. But once you have all of those set up in your folders, you have your game in your in folder, you have an out folder ready to go, that's where the converted file is gonna go, and your dats and your keys zip files properly placed. Let's open up the NKit app by running the exe file here. If Windows tries to protect your PC, I have run this before, it is safe, so I'm gonna run it anyway. And it should look just like this. So first thing we're gonna do is click on the Wii U icon here. We're gonna go into settings in the right side and we're gonna change this from WUX to app. So we want an app file in order to be able to install it with WUP Installer GX2. And then verification method, we're gonna change to dynamic. We can skip process options, go to system paths. We're gonna select our in path. So click on this folder icon here and double click on your in folder, press OK, and you should see wherever you have your NKit folder placed, plus NKit and then in. And now we're gonna do the same for the out path. Click on the folder. We're gonna be in the actual in folder starting off. Instead of going through our computer, we can go to the top here, just backspace on in and type out, press okay. And you should see your out path just like so. We can click on the settings now and close it. Now we're gonna add our folder. So click on that one and we're gonna do the opposite. Go back to in and press OK. And you should see all of your games inside of that folder show up in the NKit program. It should be automatically queued, we're good to go, and when you're ready, you can just press process. Black Ops 2 is 19 gigabytes, so this will take a very long time for me. So I'll meet you back when it's done, but just a heads up, like the bigger the game, the longer it'll take. I'll meet you back when it's done. The speed will also depend on your PC specs. And there we go, it is finished. You got the green check mark here. That took about five minutes, so it does also depend on your PC specs. But as you can see, uh, the verify result is unverified. Now, if you do end up having issues with this file, you can do the exact same process in this verify section, uh, but we already converted it. I already know that my file is verified, but as long as you have the keys and the dats file in there, you should be good. But now that we have that completed, we can open up our NKit folder again, go inside of your out folder, and you should have a folder of the game that you converted. If we go inside, it should look exactly like this with app files, H3 files, and a few different ones at the bottom here. So if you see that, it was successful and we're ready to go. Now that we have our WAP installable file, 
we can grab our SD card we use to mod our Wii. If you don't have an install folder like this one here, just go ahead and create one. Go inside and just place the game in there and install it just like you have for other games. But if you do not have experience with installing games to your Wii U, click the video popping up right now and I'll show you how in that one. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to smash that like and I'll see you on the next guide. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>